I'm Wilson Reevely. I looked at the camera. <laughs> 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 I discovered paddling through the Ski to Sea here in Bellingham. I did it in an old plastic sea kayak, uh, I guess five years ago now. I forgot to flip the rudder down and had an atrocious time during the race. Like two hours, and I saw all these guys going by in surf skis, and they're so much faster than me, and they both looked a lot cooler. So I was like, I want to try that. So I reached out to Steve Scoggins and asked him if I could try surf ski. I showed up at a Wednesday night race here in town. Getting in a surf ski the first time, I thought, how could a boat possibly be this tippy? And that was not a tippy surf ski. <laughs> I've been paddling for about three years in ski. I paddled the two years I did sea kayak, um, make it five before that. But and within that ski paddling time, I started training in sprint K1s as well to increase my training in the last two years. The first competitive sport I ever did was wrestling, which I did at Sea Home High School. I was a pretty terrible wrestler, but it taught me how to work hard and how like, training helps you achieve things. So even though I lost 95% of my matches, I was never really deterred by that. It was all about the process of doing the sport, just improving myself. The thing I like the most about flat water sprint paddling is how connected to the water you are. In a surf ski, you're still super connected and you're able to feel waves, but a K1 is so tippy that any, any bump in the water translates directly to your balance. And when the water is totally glassy smooth, it's just kind of a joy to paddle as fast as you can through the water. The thing I like the most about surf ski paddling is surfing. Um, being able to accelerate and get on a wave and stop paddling and just use the energy of the water to like move and accelerate and jump between waves. It's pretty addicting. I think the gorge is an amazing place to paddle because of not just how frequently it is windy there, but how many different spots on the river there are to paddle. This spring I got the chance to go out east for the first time and paddle into the Marysville Bridge. And the waves out there were insane. And that's an hour drive from where there's also insane waves in the hatchery, in Swell City, and all of that. And it's so cool to be able to pick and choose and get runs every day when you're down there. I go to school at the University of Washington in Seattle, and I'm studying design. I was just admitted to my major this last year, so I'm pretty excited about that. Being a design intern at Faster Farther has been like the most perfect thing I could ask for this summer. Being able to focus on my paddling and doing things that directly relate to my paddling, designing most recently the ski, but even just working on retouching photo shoots and working on the models and all of that has been super cool to see behind the curtain of how we do things here. The current is a pretty cool name for a boat because it has so many double meanings. When we're paddling, we're paddling in current, and at the same time, it kind of has this reference to ACDC and old school metal with alternating direct current. 